National Federation of the Blind. Live the life you want. How did I join the Federation? It's a, an interesting story. My name is John Halverson, and I've been a member of the National Federation of the Blind since the early 1970s. Uh, I did not go to a school for the blind. I attended public schools. My family was from the West Coast. Uh, we lived at various times in Oregon, Washington, and in Northern California. So I went to high school in Redwood City, California, and I didn't know what I wanted to do. Uh, <clears throat> I was lucky enough to become a student at the uh, Orientation Center for the Blind in California, a summer student, college prep. At that time, it was a very good organization. And they had a uh, picnic uh, sponsored by the National Federation of the Blind so that the students could meet local Federation leaders. And that was the first I'd ever heard of the Federation, and it sounded like a, a really good organization. So I went off to undergraduate at the University of California, Irvine in Orange County, California, and uh, did not join the local chapter. And, but I still kept in contact, and if I had a problem or an issue, I got help. I wasn't a member, but I was still given assistance by the, the state affiliate of the National Federation of the Blind, and that impressed me. I was uh, elected to the Student Senate, and of course they met on the same night of the week as the Orange County chapter met, so there for two years I could not attend. Uh, between my junior and senior year, I needed to decide on graduate school. And what I did was I went off to San Francisco, near where my family lived, and started talking to economists at various institutions to get some notions of maybe where to go to school and, and what subfields of economics to go into. And, and that was very interesting. And I applied to three universities and uh, went back to the University of Michigan, which was the one, one of the ones I wanted to attend. And they seemed very friendly and nice. And uh, it looked like the probability was higher that they would give me some scholarships and teaching fellowships as compared to Berkeley, which was one of the other ones I was accepted to. So I, I went there and the day I was there, I went off to the Vocational Rehabilitation Department in Michigan. It said, hi, I move, may move here to become a student. And the response was, being you're gonna be a student here, we could never assist you because you're not from Michigan, you're from California. And I knew at the time that was wrong because where you lived is where your residency is with regard to vocational rehabilitation. So I went back to uh, California a couple days later and, and talked to some people in the Federation about that. And no, no, they said that's, that's wrong. So the night I moved to Ann Arbor, about 10 o'clock, I got a call from somebody in our national office. And he said, John, we want to help you with this, this problem. You're right. You, it, wherever you live, basically, is where your residency is. They don't know if you're going to leave the next year or stay for your whole life. And I thought, wow, what an organization that hardly knows me is willing to provide that kind of assistance. And so uh, a, an attorney, we had an attorney in Michigan who helped me. And we went to a hearing and I won. And the letter that was sent, the first letter said, even if you were here 20 years, you couldn't uh, receive assistance because you're a student. And then they had to offer me assistance after we won the hearing. But in the meantime, I decided, well, I'll take assistance from the California Vocational Rehabilitation Agency. They'll pay the equivalent to in-state tuition at Berkeley, but that's okay because uh, 
I would soon be teaching and that would give me Michigan in-state tuition, so I really didn't care. But I won and I thought, any organization that will take that much time and effort and enthusiasm to help me is an organization that I really need to belong to and to participate in. And so after the first, oh, year and a half of graduate school, when I finished the first set of qualifying exams, I had began to have a little more time and became interested in the Michigan affiliate and eventually became president of the Michigan affiliate and, uh, and, and worked a lot with, with setting up a student division and worked on a lot of organizations, organi organizing during the 1970s. And I've been involved ever since in other states I've lived in. New York, here in the D.C. area, and uh, in Missouri. For more information about the National Federation of the Blind, please visit www.nfb.org or call 410-659-9314.